Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Dead Space. If you're just joining us now, then what is wrong with you? Go back and start from the very beginning. Okay. When we last left off my story, uh, my brother and I had just begun digging down in a straight line, straight hole, to find some metal. Wasn't the most well thought out plan really, but we have a lot of options. I should probably explain something else about the weird storage tattoo mechanic thing. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, one right way. This weird storage tattoo mechanic of this world. Apparently, practically anything can be broken up by... Wait, are they... Okay, they're still there. Can be broken up into weird storage block things. Including dirt, so... This is why we were able to dig down without having to worry about what to do with all the dirt we were just unearthing. So it was getting taken care of, which was nice. Wait, do I do something else? Um. Okay. Let's see what else? Is. Oh. Okay, so we don't have to worry about taking care of the dirt. This also applied to any kind of right, objects we could use, like tools or things. So we had to make sure those were in one of the, like, the top slots the or whatever. So that Rebel we could, you know, call on it, well, like, say, a shovel or a pickaxe. So, so we can from the after a while of digging, and that that my brother was digging, I was keeping ladders put up, ladder pieces put up, so we could climb back up. Uh, we eventually hit open air, and, and now, exactly this came all of a sudden, so... Uh, we didn't really expect it when it happened, and it was over in, like, really quickly, it was like only a couple feet, actually. Well, okay, it was over really quickly because we were still in fall thanks to full up, thanks to the float I had cast on both of us. But it was over a lot faster than we expected. So after we got over the shock of having fallen for a good couple feet instead of a couple miles, like we, like well, like I assumed, uh, Lee, Lee just got his pick. My brother just got his pickaxe and said, "All right, let's look for some metal." And he started wandering off in the. Okay, no, I, I just remembered, yeah, it was really dark, so... He didn't actually start wandering up just yet. He, he turned to me and said, hey, can you make some lights? I, I remember that now, I remember that now. That happened. Yeah, okay. So, um, I was able to just focus enough magic into a small ball that we had some light, and what we saw all around us was just dirt. It was a tunnel of dirt, and... This is the right way. Okay, yeah. It was, yeah, so we followed this tunnel uh, for a good while, like, uh, not a good while, actually, it wasn't the tunnel, like, a couple minutes before we actually found some strange stone. It wasn't all stone, because we noticed something shiny in it. in it. That's when our jaw, or well, my jaw dropped. I said, that can't be what I think it is. And he went over, like, tapped it, he tapped it, uh, kind of scratched it a bit, like, yeah, this is metal of some kind. So we had found an ore vein in like a couple of minutes after digging. That was pretty, pretty amazing. We had found. Why didn't you die? So he went in mine that, and like everything else, that got stored in his uh, little storage tattoo. So, all right, we already found something, and making good, decent progress. There, oh, oh, jeez, jeez. Oh yeah, this is progress. Okay, metal. Um, I, neither of us were really sure what it was. Uh, it looked. We, we both assumed it was copper because it looked kind of copperish. We made it to the bridge. It, it was copper, by the way. I'm gonna ahead and spoil that. It was. We found copper. We're going to try to get the command computer. So we had some metal, but you know, we just found a vein like that quickly. Uh, we were both wanted to keep going, see what else we could find. So, so we did. We followed the little tunnel that was already there and we found a couple more veins uh... nothing really interesting we did find one that we at the time didn't notice didn't realize was but in fact was a vein of iron it didn't look like iron to me but that's what Sid said later so it was iron So after we had 
ex we got to the very edge of the tunnel, we had noticed, we decided, you know, this looks like a good, we should, this is like a, a good general area, we should probably go deeper. And that's what we did. We went back to the hole that led to the surface, and we realized that it was getting a bit darker out. It wasn't quite nighttime, but it was darker than it was before. So, uh, we started digging deeper, and half a minute later, we hit more open air. We fall a bit farther this time. I had to reapply float to both of us, because it had worn off. Well, I had to reapply it to my brother. I could keep it on myself. I'm like, oh, jeez! Myself is not catching yet. So, this time, uh, uh, we actually came across a little encounter. Right as we, right as we were getting our bearing, there was a zombie directly in front of us. Now, this wasn't a very big of a problem because when it started shambling towards us, my brother just went over and punched it in the face and it collapsed. Then he started, then he just started stomping on until it was a pile of mush. Not really mush, but not really. Oh. That's not good. I'm trying to get out. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting out of that That zombie was taken care of, we both had come to a starting realization. There were things here that wanted us dead. That was news that we really needed to get to the others, because they didn't know there were zombies here. So that's why we that's why we didn't be trying to cut our mining from short and we just climbed our way back to the top. Right, so by the time we got to the top again, it was okay. okay. Oh. What happened to the shovel? Those are at home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Just let me think. Keep going. Can you access the command computer? So, by the time we got back up, it was dark, and both of us instantly noticed no something good. There's an off executive about of our former little hut. The captain's authorization. I can't it was a lot them. bigger. Where's the captain? Like, insanely bigger, like a tower now. Here he is. And this Captain was caused Elias. for Location? moderate surprise. So, as we were just walking around looking for an entrance, we noticed a door. We went through it and I suddenly we saw we saw find spooks. Captain, and so and she bounced over rig. to us because she's inside like, Guys, welcome back! And she gives us a hug because that's how Spoons is. And she says, oh, look, we've done the place where you're gone. Oh, by the, the way, did you find any kind of metal? That we did find metal, so we kind of showed it, and she she, she got super happy because you know she's been she's always kind of like that. Um, yeah, she's she's a ninja two user, so yeah, spoons is just weird, but she's spoons. So she just says, oh, you better take it over to Sid. Oh, she's been waiting. She's gonna be so excited. <laughs> I, I I just can't do spoons right. She's just so much energy into what she says. It's really bizarre. A anyway, so we bring over the metal to Spoons, and she says, Okay, good haul. Wasn't expecting this much. And it kind of concerned us. What was she expecting? But anyway, uh... Apparently, while we were gone, she managed to get... She and Phyllis had managed to construct a crew little furnace, so... Like, it's began kind of smelting the metal we had picked up. And so... Oh, they also had some beds, and... I remember being really skeptical about this. How did they construct so many things so quickly? And that's when Spoon does, Oh, it's so amazing! You can build things here super duper quick! It's so awesome! And, well, remembering how uh, we managed to construct the hut so quickly, I had to kind of 
I believe that because it made sense. And, wait, didn't I? What's going on here? I thought I... Um, okay, so they were bed. So yeah, we are both kind of tired from walking in a dark tunnel for a long time. So we we went to sleep, and by the time we were up. Uh, it was morning again, and Sid had a little surprise for us. She finally had gone around to- oh, actually it was Clay who made this, but Sid was the one who gave it to us. It was store. Alright, one second, let me see what this is. Level 2 suits? Uh, oh, can I not use my- oh, I gotta use this. Alright. All right, let's see what the level two suit looks like. This is gonna be cool. That's it. Wow. Really, really disappointing. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, or no, the cost as much as a. Jeez, small air can. What do I got? Uh, wait, no, that's not what I'm gonna do. Dang it. How do I go to. No health packs. I should probably get a health pack. Okay, that one should be good. Actually, I kind of need to use that now. Oh, that's disappointing. All right. Anyway, uh, what? Using some of the i the co actually using some of the iron that uh it was yeah it was the iron the cover something else uh using some of the iron we had gotten uh clay had actually managed to make a decent. A couple of decent iron tools, uh, an iron pickaxe and an iron shovel, and yeah, no, no, whoops. For for my brother to use while we were mining. So that was that was much better than the crappy wood one that we had. That somehow managed to work. I'm not entirely sure how. Uh, I remember the iron took a long time to. Oh. Second. Oh, new chapter. Huh. Save, um... Yeah, actually, yeah, okay. We, we can, I can save now, um... Let me just quickly wrap this up, uh... Okay, uh... So, yeah, I remember the iron vein took a lot longer to, to, to dig out, and before he broke the first chunk of it off, we, we actually started... I actually started doubting he was gonna be able to break off any with the wooden pickaxe, but eventually he got a piece off. It took, I think close to maybe a minute to break off a single piece? Maybe. I didn't have a stopwatch on me. But yeah, we had some, well, he had some much better iron tools, and yeah, that's when we both realized that we had forgotten to mention the zombie. And so, well, because I know because we both looked at each other, because when he got that pickaxe uh, in his hand, and it went into his little tattoo inventory thing, that's when we both shared a look that said, oh yeah, we forgot something. And that's when I said, um, Oh yeah, by the way, uh, guys, we kind of sort of found a zombie down underground. And at, at this point, ever I forgot to mention before, because I'm bad about that, uh, we were actually in what the, what was the, what the, what was pretty much the living room. There was a sofa, uh, and another sofa there. Uh, everyone was there, and so... They all looked at each other, and the spoon says, Oh, yeah, that would totally make sense. Oh, well, the slimes that I fought yesterday, and... Now, this was news to us. There were slimes here as well, so... We gave each other another look that basically... They basically translated to, We must ask more questions. And so I said, What do you mean slimes? And she said, Oh, it was super awesome! There was all kinds of slimes. I got to beat up this pew pew! And they dropped these little slime balls. And I stuck one on a stick and I made a torch. And I had to pause and replay it in my head. She stuck a ball of slime that dropped from a slime onto a stick and it made a torch. 
I, I had to go over that again out loud to make sure I got it. And she said, oh, yeah, watch. So she held up a stick with gel on it. And then she... And then she put the bottom end. Like, she just touched it to a wall. And suddenly the, the gel lit on fire. She let go and it stood in place. And so, yeah, we were pretty dumbfounded. I I look at Sid, I, I Sid and Phyllis and I ask, How? And they just shrug, and, and Phyllis says, I just assume that's spoons. And Sid says, yeah, that's our spoons for you. <laughs> and then my brother says, yeah, I don't remember her being able to violate the laws of physics. What kind of ninja trick is this? And none of us really knew. So, now we have torches. Which worked somehow, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, that's a decent place to stop for now. Um, I think that's, yeah. I think we'll just save and we'll just... Cut this recording session over because then we can move on. All right. So everyone, thank you for joining me. I I've been Snow, and I hope to see you again.